Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Boys and girls, today, if you have the book Creepy Crayon, go get it because this is a fun one. Have you ever been creeped out by something? Well, Jasper has a crayon. Let's read about Creepy Crayon. Think it's gonna be purple? Probably so. Creepy Crayon. Here's our title page. It's words or it's written by Aaron Reynolds. The pictures, the illustrator is Peter Brown. Jasper Rabbit was struggling in school. Sounding like us. He was flunking math. He was failing spelling. The only subject he was passing was art. Jasper needed serious help. That's when he found the crayon. It was purple, pointy, and perfect. And somehow, it looked happy to see him. <clears throat> that night, Jasper knew he had to study for his spelling test. But Tales from the Carrot Patch was on. By the time it was over, he was way too tired to study. The test was a disaster. Jasper couldn't remember how to spell a single word. That's when he noticed something strange. Jasper picked up the crayon. Immediately, he spelled all the words correctly. When he got his test back, he got an A plus and a sticker. The crayon looked pleased. Creepy, but cool. After dinner, Jasper settled in to play Bunny Brawl 3. Math homework first, said Dad. Fine, moaned Jasper. That's when he saw it. Scrawled in, scrawled in peculiar purple penmanship. Who needs math when you have Bunny Brawl 3? Three hours later, he fell asleep, his game in one hand, the purple crayon in the other. When Mrs. Lopshire announced a surprise math quiz, Jasper panicked. He reached for a pencil, but instead his hand wrapped around the crayon. Suddenly, math seemed easy. He knew when to carry the one. He knew when to borrow from the bigger numbers. It was like the crayon knew exactly what to do. After the quiz, he saw it written on his backpack, Jasper plus crayon forever. Jasper felt a shiver go up his spine. The next day was the deadline for the poster contest. Jasper had been working on his entry for weeks. It just needed a few finishing touches. The purple crayon rolled across the table all by itself. But Jasper ignored it. Don't ignore me, he shredded, shredded. He scrubbed the writing off the table. He zipped the crayon into his pencil case. He tried to forget all about the crayon. 
But when he woke up, his precious artwork was better than ever. It was a horrifying masterpiece in purple. Prize-winning poster. Fantastic work, cried Mr. Hopper po Hoppy Pot. You should be very proud. But Jasper didn't feel proud. He felt eked out, freaked out, creeped out. When he got home, Jasper descended into the deepest, darkest corner of his basement. He put the crayon in a dusty box and locked it. He went to bed feeling much better. But when he woke up the next day, there on the mirror, you need me. In his pencil case, the creepy crayon. And it looked happy to see him. That day, Jasper got all A pluses. It was terrible. Enough was enough. Jasper snapped the cra creepy crayon in two. He melted it in the microwave and he threw the mess in the garbage. He drifted to sleep that night, feeling relieved. But when he woke up, there on his wall, it was a mural of him graduating elementary school with straight A's. And worst of all, it was really well drawn. And next to it, the creepy crayon. Purple, pointy, and perfect. All day, no matter what Jasper did, the creepy crayon was there looking oh so pleased in his hand as he aced his vocabulary quiz, in his pocket as Mrs. Lopshire named Jasper, the most improved student. Super, look at him. In the crowd as the school celebrated Jasper in a special assembly, things were spinning out of control. Jasper couldn't take it anymore. When he got home, he went straight to the toilet. And he threw the crayon in. It, it just floated there, spinning slowly. It did not look happy to see him. See his eyes? And then Jasper saw it. Scribbled inside the bowl. Don't you dare. But Jasper dared. There it goes. Gone. That evening, Tales from the Carrot Patch was on, but Jasper studied for his spelling test. He kept his eyes darting to his pencil case. No creepy crayon. He flung the toilet lid up. No creepy crayon. He got into bed nervously, watching his walls. No creepy crayon. During the test, Jasper spelled ocean wrong, but he spelled courage right. He got a C plus. It was glorious. It wasn't an A but it was his. He headed home from school that day, finally feeling free. 
far, far away was an old sewer pipe out and floated away, floated the purple crayon. See it coming out? Slowly, silently, it drifted for days and for weeks. It's way out in the ocean. One day was clear. The creepy crayon would never cause trouble ever again. Except that's when Elliot Pelican spotted the creepy crayon. It was purple, pointy, and perfect. And somehow, it looked happy to see him. Now, have you ever had something that you just needed to help you do good on a test? What was it? Have you ever had something like a creepy crayon? I'm going to challenge you to draw a purple creepy crayon. Make sure you give him a good kind of face and share it in the comments. I want to see your creepy crayons, okay? If you don't want to make it purple, if purple's not your creepy color, give me a purple, uh, give me a color that's creepy to you. Yeah. Did you enjoy creepy crayon? Kind of like, uh, remember the creepy underwear? He had his underwear on one in one of the pictures. Did you notice that? Uh, when he started to go to bed. Let's see if I can find it real fast. I'll share it with you. Because there it was. His creepy crayon. Right here. Say he's got on his creepy underwear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to draw uh, Jasper instead, I've got a great picture right here. You can draw him. Here's one of him sitting at the desk. You can hold that right there and you can just draw his little round face and his ears. Mm -hmm. Sitting at the desk. Here's one. You can look back at the pictures in the book and draw whichever Jasper you want to draw. I look forward to seeing your drawings of Jasper or the crayon. I hope you enjoyed the creepy crayon. And make sure, if you haven't subscribed, my friends, I need some subscribers. I need my friends. I need to see you subscribing. I, I look and I need to, I need to know who you are. All right. And I want to also give a shout out to some special friends. Melbourne, Australia, New York City, New York, Phoenix, Arizona, Great Britain, Georgia, Michigan, and London, England. Great job. I love my friends out there. Y'all keep watching and make sure you share, excuse me, Cindy's Corner with your friends and have them to subscribe. There's not another reading uh, story time like Cindy's Corner. I look forward to having you.